everybody, Bob Trossett here, post game with Coach Caravana after a 11th to three victory over Dickinson. It's the first game of eight here at the 2017 Mustang Classic. Coach, how to feel to jump right out with a victory? Well, we were we were happy, obviously, you know, to win a game. Dickinson's an awful strong team, and it played well. We were. Uh, um, you know, just anxious to get going and playing. We had played last weekend and played well. So, you know, uh, I like the way our team is playing, certainly, and I thought that we played a good, strong game for the, for the full 60 minutes, which we knew was going to be important. Did the guys feel like they were underdogs heading into the day? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we did, certainly, uh, you know, because we were. I mean, we're not as ranked as high as, as, uh, as Dickinson was, but we've had a, a very strong tradition here. You know, we, we've been to four of the last eight final eights. Uh, you know, last year we lost two games by a goal, one early in the season without one of our star players, Liam Rooney, who was terrific today. And then we lost to Salisbury in, in, in overtime without one of our All-American players. So we've had some success. And so we were anxious to get going. We were a little disappointed in our first loss versus Washington Lee, who played very well. So, you know, we've kind of uh, pick, picked it up a little bit, I think, following that loss, kind of figured out a couple of things. And, uh, you know, we had some strong goal play today. I thought that was a big difference for us and Stephen Paris, our freshman goalie. You mentioned Liam Rooney is your star. He really facilitates the offense. He scores, but he can also dish it out. What yeah, he he, he's, he's just one of the better attackmen in the country. I mean, I think he's the first team All-American. I've coached a lot of All-Americans before, and over 100 very candidly. And uh, Liam's one of the better ones that we've had because I think he kind of controls the game. Um, you know, and, and he controls the game and yet makes everybody else better, which I think is really what you're after. Um, he just does so many things well. He's just a very strong uh, talented athlete, not afraid of the moment. So, you know, we're just excited to have him on our team. And he's been a real steady influence because we really are actually a pretty young group uh, on the offensive end without him. And so his ability to kind of, you know, steer the ship when it's a little rough is kind of key. And he has that ability. So uh, we're fortunate to have him. Two games in 24 hours. You guys traveling all the way from Ohio. What's tonight going to be like? Well, you know, you just kind of relax a little bit, um, you know, do the best you can. I mean, we're excited. It's always easier to follow a win, very candidly, you know, to keep your juices up. We're, we have, a, a, again, another good contest tomorrow versus Nazareth, you know. But we, we again, want to kind of make our name. Uh, you know, last year we won both games. I think we kind of surprised some people this year. You know, we want to kind of finish up strong and have people leaving here thinking that we're clearly one of the better teams in the country. That's our goal. And then, like I said, so, you know, we're anxious to – Go back home, rest up a little bit, but then be ready to come back and play tomorrow. You know, it's, it, it, at least it's the same for all the teams. So at least that's the nicest part about it in yep. many cases. If someone had a day off, it would be a little <laughs> bit more challenging. But all of us have to kind of ch uh, deal with that. And uh, see, it's just such a great venue to have you all here and, and helping us and, you know, publicize Division Three lacrosse and seeing how high level it is and the competitiveness of it. It's just uh, superb. And Paul's staff and the people at Stevenson did a wonderful job getting the fields ready, the stands ready. I mean, it was uh, – a mess here on Wednesday, you know, and uh, their ability to do that was certainly uh, top notch and gave us an opportunity to play. So we're all excited to have that chance. Coach, thanks for your time. Best of luck tomorrow. We got it. Thank you very much. Coach Caravana, Bob Trossett, first of eight coming up here at the 2017 Mustang Classic. Denison prevails here 11 to 3 over Dickinson.